Hello, powerful leaders of today and tomorrow. My name is Dr. Dawn Sears. I'm a gastroenterologist and actually the chief of gastroenterology at my institution. That is unusual in that only 20 to 30% of gastroenterologists are women and less than 10% of chiefs are women. So I know what it's like to be the only woman in the room. I know what it's like to face constant harassment, constant belief that maybe I'm not the right person for the job or I might be in the wrong room. So I've had to constantly fight with um, imposter syndrome and the constant reminder that I am different than what people expect. In fact, on one of my first rotations, um, when I introduced myself, the attending said, oh, your name is Dawn. Well, have you met another student named Dust? You would be an excellent stripper team. Really? Is that what I am to you? So I have understood how to navigate this um, for the last 20 years, and I've been successful at that. I've been able to start many initiatives at my institution. I've been able to elevate myself into various leadership positions and to come up with some amazing alliances along the way. However, the need for women to have other women to show them the way in the 50% of medical students graduating, wanting a mentor and wanting someone to show them the ropes has become very, very obvious. So I didn't look for women leaders in medicine to be my calling. I was simply involved with education, um, whether it was to nurses or to the public or to my medical students or residents or fellows. But in the last three years, it's been pretty evident that more women needed to get together. We needed to share our stories. We needed each other. So I put together a group at my institution and then we ended up writing a grant and getting $150,000 from the, the Physicians Foundation to fund our program and to study it. At the end, we found that we improved retention, we improved engagement, and we improved burnout of the women who participated versus those who didn't. Well, I want to share this program with the world. So when I came to the WELL program, I did have some limiting beliefs. I have a child with chronic illness. She has regular hospitalizations. I'm running a division. I'm dealing with all of these issues myself. My marriage is failing. I don't have time for one more thing on my plate. However, I did carve out the time. And through the Well Group, interacting with all of these amazing teachers, these amazing colleagues, these amazing collaborators, these amazing sponsors, I was able to carve out the time and the space. Honestly, the airplane ride from Dallas to Chicago helped a lot. <laughs> On the way home from one of them, I wrote the program, The Women Leaders in Medicine, because I wanted every institution, every hospital, every university, big or small, to be able to do this program. So at the end of the day, we ended up with an 18-page packet. So I have the business case of why the leaders should care about promoting women to prevent them from quitting and save on recruitment, as well as all of the evidence for why this model works of small groups as well as large settings. Oh, you have sample agenda, sample budgets, sample timelines. We show you how to do it. So I was so excited to be able to make this happen in collaboration uh, with my colleagues. Through the WELL program, I learned that I didn't need to ask permission. I just needed to take a little time to do what I already knew needed to be done. And along the way, I've been able to elevate my friends that I have made through the program with their agendas. And we are doing amazing things. We are all changing the world. You never know who is your ally until you ask and you share your passion. I look forward to elevating you, learning about your passion, and finding out how we can work together to make the world a better place. Thank you so much.